Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you on this terrific Tuesday for learning. Today is Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. Hey, I wasn't feeling very well yesterday. Remember, when you're not feeling well, you should stay home um, so you don't get other people sick. But I'm feeling better today. Glad to be back. I missed the ice cream. Did you guys have a fun time yesterday? Thank you, PTA, for your wonderful contributions. And that was because, boys and girls and staff and parents, it's because you did such a great job in the Lucky Leprechaun coin drive. You brought in over $4,000 from those coins, from that coin drive. That's awesome. So everybody had uh, ice cream yesterday. And I just want to say I heard lots of compliments from staff saying how well the students uh, were polite, saying thank you for the ice cream, and also picking up after yourselves, not leaving any trash laying around on the playground. So thank you for doing that O in SOAR, which is ownership. So thank you for being responsible, picking up after yourself, and also respect, saying thank you um, for that. Hey, as we get started on this terrific Tuesday for learning, on our lunch menu today, what do we got going on? Today we've got, ooh, chicken nuggets and smile potatoes, or you can have a tuna salad sandwich. Please remember to take a fruit and a vegetable with every school meal. Hey, it's the end of March. Do you know what that means? I know, March Madness, but you know what it also means? It means it's towards the end of our reading challenge for March. So I hope you've been remembering to fill out your reading log as you read each day. Remember, um, your goal was eight hours of reading for the month of March. You still have through this Friday to do that. When you do, you then have your parents go online and they go to the Read for Adventure program. Here's the QR code for that. But they go on here, they register you, and um, you can end up with a free voucher for zip lines and laser tag and ro ropes courses and all kinds of cool things. Climbing wall, very cool things through High Trek Adventures. Um, so again, thank you for those who are participating in that. March is also the genre of science. So if you're trying to read each month the different genres for our library, remember this month is science. So there's lots of cool books from the library to gather. I love uh, nonfiction, things like that. So if you like things about wild animals or weather or earth science and life sciences, um, animals in particular, um, you know, birds and reptiles and insects and plants, all kinds of things. Um, those are those nonfiction science genre books. Check those out today from the library. Pretty cool. Also, this is the last week as part of March Madness for music in our classrooms and in our schools. So if you think about it, Mrs. Roland had up a little thing that you would vote each week for different um, um, songs and this week they're down to the final four. It's the final four for songs So you're gonna pick your favorite of those four and we'll find out what the who the winner is again This is just a friendly little competition with music in our schools month um, To figure out which is our favorite song. We're down to the final four for that Hey, because I was out yesterday sick I missed a birthday yesterday. So happy birthday yesterday to Liam Lambert. Happy birthday Liam I hope you had an awesome birthday Come on down and pick out the birthday bucket if you did not do that yesterday. I also have some kids doing some amazing math. That's right, some multiplication. So these students in Mrs. Carlson's class have mastered their multiplication math facts through their 12s. Wow, congratulations on finish, finishing the ice cream packet. Well done. And those students are Cindy Ramirez Medina. Great job, Cindy. Also, Gunner Berry, great job, Gunner, and also Cameron Orr. Congratulations, Cameron, to all three of you. Great job. Hey, it's so important to learn not only our addition and subtraction facts when we're a little bit younger, but our multiplication facts are really, really important as we get older. It's important to know those um, so they don't slow us down when we're trying to solve bigger problems, right? So keep that in mind. Also, hey, we have up here. Got a little sign here, I got Perry and I've got a Hedgie and I've got Peel here. And we just wanna say believe, right? Believe in yourself. That's so important. When you believe, you can achieve. That's right. The Mariners are get, getting ready to start their baseball season. That's part of their motto is believe. Here's a little Mariner uh, logo right here. But we can do that too at school. Let's believe we can do it. And if we believe it, we can do it. 
right? If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't do something, you won't be able to do it. It st starts first with believing in yourself and believing you can do it. If you're not doing it yet, that just means not yet. You're practicing and getting better and believe in yourself. It starts right here in your mind. So believe in yourself first and then you'll be able to achieve what you want to accomplish, okay? It starts with believing. So believe in yourself, boys and girls. Believe in yourself and you will accomplish what you want to accomplish. Keep that in mind. Hey, guess what? Last thing I have is SOAR tickets. I wasn't here yesterday. So I've got out, I've pulled out some names. I've got those for you. I'll do those quickly. Remember, please come down and either get a brag tag or a bracelet. All right, here we go. For Mrs. Adams class, we have Abdullah. We also have for Mrs. Adams class, Cesar. For Miss Shepherd's class, we have Truett. Also for Miss Shepherd's class, we have Lena. For Mrs. Veely's class, we have Parker. And for Mrs. Veely's class, we have Anastasia. For Mrs. Fangoni's class, we have Ava. And also for Mrs. Fangoni's class, we have Maddie. For Miss Schott's class, we have Spencer. And for Miss Schott's class, we have Jace. For Miss Shinstrom's class, we have Alina. And also for Miss Shinstrom's class, we have, yikes, almost lost it, Jasmine. <laughs> Then for Mrs. Young's class, we have Chanel. Also for Mrs. Young's class, we have Jason. Then for Mrs. Gillespie's class, we have Ziva. And also for Mrs. Gillespie's class, we have Charisma. Then for Mrs. Burroughs' class, we have Kelly. And for Mrs. Burroughs' class, we have Amalia. For Ms. Haynes' class, we have Jada. From Mrs. Tinney's class, we have Everly. Also for Mrs. Tinney's class, we have Ethan. For Mrs. Uh, Fuller's class, we have Yana. Also for Mrs. Fuller's class, we have Rosalie. Then in Mrs. Gad's class, we have Trey. Also for Mrs. Gad's class, we have Kinsley. Then for Ms. Harper's class, we have Brooklyn. And also for Ms. Harper's class, we have Lily. For Ms. Carlson's class, Excuse me. We have Marley. Also for Miss Carlson's class, we have Daniel. Then for Miss Slater's class, we have Diana. And for Miss Slater's class, we have Easton. For Miss Sager's class, we have Hayden. And for Miss Sager's class, also we have Kyler Lynn. So congratulations to all those students who soared last week. You know what we're going to do? I'm gonna uh, do SOAR tickets, hopefully maybe at the end of the week for those collecting and trying their best this week um, since yesterday, Monday. All right, boys and girls, let's SOAR. Let's have a great day because every day is a great day to be a Falcon. All right, boys and girls, have an awesome day. And always remember, believe in yourself and always remember your Freiland's family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Boys and girls, we'll see you soon. Soon, CERN. We'll see you soon. Believe in yourself.